What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really quick and easy um, survival island. I just did this and my mic wasn't plugged all the way in and I've got to do it again. But anyway, we're going to be using a program called Wall Painter. It's going to be a link down in the description. Just click that and then let's boot it up. Um, I'm going to be also using single player commands just to clean some of the bits that this program doesn't do completely right. Because this isn't a complete alternative to single player commands and world edit, it's just um, an easier way to do stuff on a bigger scale. But when you boot it up, you're just going to go to File New. Now, and this generate uh, call it let's say survival. Yeah, survival test. Um, height leave that topography flat. Level um, one. What level twenty? Um, create. Now it's going to create a look. Create a water map to make our island on. We're going to go to view. Show three D view. And you pre gather what this actually does. It's going to give you a three D view of of the map. Now first thing we want to do, come over here, height tool, drop the intensity down a bit, and, oh, you can turn it up, and now you're going to want to pick one of these brushes, um, linear circle, spike circle, I'm going to go with um, linear circle, and we're just going to just going to bring this land out, you can hold down with the left mouse button and it's going to bring all this land out. Now make the brush bigger, it's up to you. If you let go it's going to start to come up in here, it's a bit like a tip, but Okay, we can sort this out. Um, this program's a lot about experimenting, really, and just getting used to using it, and yeah, just testing, really. It just you know you do it and you just see what it comes out as, and you can make some really cool stuff. I'll put a link to a survival island I made. Um, it's on Minecraft, uh, Planet Minecraft forum thread. If you want to check that out, I made actually made this that in this program, and it turned out quite well. And let's just create like a little peninsula. I think that's the right word. If it isn't, never mind. Yeah, let's just bring all this out. Remember, we'll give, give it a chance to load here. Looks a bit like a. Yeah. Just bring this out a bit more. Uh, I'm using the um, scrolling button to bring it out, if you're wondering. Yeah, how's that looking? How's that elephant? Ah. I could upload it, call it Elephant Island. <laughs> nah. Yep, just bring it all out. And here we go. Looks kind of dodgy, but yeah, it's alright. This is a test. But now we've got a basic shape. Um, mine happens to be an elephant or a penguin snorting on the floor. Anyway, um, we've got a basic shape, but you know, it's a little boring. But say we want to put in um, a beach. So we're going to click on terrain, sand. Uh, we're going to come over to. A solid circle. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to zoom in a bit. Ah, oh. oh, crap. How do I. Okay, hang on. I will do this right. I will get it. There we go. Now we're going to drop our thing down and we're just going to paint on, literally paint, hence World Painter. Just paint on a beach. See, no. See, this is why we'll need um, single player commands as well. Because this will need neatening up, but literally painting on a beach. And then if you look, we've got a beach, but that's not completely right. We're going to come over to this tool, which is called the flatten tool, drop the intensity down a bit, and we're just going to flatten all this out. Now we can see here, and now as well, since it is a beach on, on a, an island, we're gonna it's going to have like cliffs around it, so. Do this um, rough, you know. We can see it. We're getting this nice cliff, this cliff, cliff theme, like a plateau. And since I mentioned plateau, and that's the tool we're going to use next. Um, we're going to go come over to the height tool. We're going to click on this and this square here, the plateau square. We're just going to bring this up bit by bit, like a little bit at a time. And as we can see here, and now we're going to go over to the smooth tool, which is this one here get one of the circles and then let's just smooth it out a bit and just deleted the whole thing that I've done. And see this is why um, you could use single player commands in world edit just to make it look a bit better. Uh, hit control Z if you do ever mess up like I did then. Uh, we're going to keep that mountain, I will sort it out in um, single player commands but for now we'll just keep it like that. So I've got a basic island but you know still a bit boring. Um, let's add a river. Let's add a river. 
we're gonna put it about here again height tool um, we're gonna go with a solid no we're not we're gonna go yeah let's use this one it's kind of a solid um, thing intensity let's put it right up so it doesn't take as long and then oh, you're gonna use the right button the right mouse button and we're just gonna hold down it's basically gonna draw on an entrance way and now remember keep referring to this and then we're gonna literally draw like a river through and if we look we'll see here and I know it will seem like these massive um, mountains but you can use that to your advantage if you do want the massive mountains but I'll show you how to fix that if you don't want them so I'll fast forward this bit because it's going to take a while though I'll see you when it's done I won't see you but you know ok we're back and I've done that I decided to go with um, a pond in the middle. You're just gonna to do that. You just like zoom out a bit, and you're gonna hold it down. Um, but the thing is, you'll see when we go into the game, this is gonna look kind of weird. But you can go over the general idea. Now we're gonna come over to the plateau, plateau tool again. I'm gonna go down a bit, and I like these kind of valleys. But I'm actually gonna go to the smooth tool. Smooth tool. I'm just gonna go around here because it is an entrance way. If we look here, it's gonna be want to be a bit smoother. So let's just go around it. And that's kind of smooth, and then we're going to come over to this tool again. Um, plateau square, and in fact, no, we're going to flatten and a brush. And we're going to not whoa, 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 easy, easy. Drop the intensity down. And then we're just going to flatten this area out a bit. There we go. And now, now if you see here, we've got this nice little thing which could then, it seems we're here, could lead down to a nice little beach. And then, let's go again with the plateau tool and the height tool. Just going to come over to here. Just going to bring it up a bit. And we see here. Some of this stuff is all going to have to be um, like neatened up in. Um, you know with single player commands, but that's not a problem, we can sort that. Um, smooth tool. And... There we go, you get, the, you get the general idea. And now, you know, say we want some trees. Come over here to... In fact, no, we're not going to do trees, because the trees on this are horrible. So, we're going to come over here to populate. I'm going to click that. I'm going to zoom out. Select one of the brushes, and click. What this is going to do, it's going to put all the ores that... In fact, no, I keep forgetting. We don't actually have to do that don't think. No, I'm pretty sure we don't. But, we'll come over to file, we're going to save the world. Call it, let's just go to Val test. You know, I said I recorded this before. Yeah, I had to do it again. So once that's saved, it's going to go to file, export world. It's going to put it into our Minecraft. Um, just go to these settings. It's file name, Val test, yeah. Um, so here, it's going to say general. Border, um, it's up to you. I'm going to go with the void since it's a survival island, you don't want getting off it. Um, uncheck include chest of goodies, I don't even know what that does, I'm not really bothered to be honest, so I'll just uncheck it. I'm going to go with super flat mode, and I will explain why in a bit. Caverns, caverns everywhere, take that, drop this down a bit. Other layers, um, allow Minecraft to populate the entire terrain. Yes, we're going to want it to do that. And then we're going to go export, and it's going to take a while. So I'll continue the um, recording in Minecraft. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm now in Minecraft. We're going to hear you world. If you saved it properly, it should be here. Now we named it Survival Test, so let's build it up. Um, I'm recording in a bigger screen, so I don't know if it's going to lag more. But it should be okay, and the quality should be better. Now, like I was saying, this isn't a complete alternative to World Edit, because as you can see, this has happened. Now, it's really basic to fix this. Um, I'll put a link in the description to single player commands. But, we're just going to... Um, we're just going to get some tools out, and then we're going to just edit the land up a little bit. So, just grab some basic tools. Now, you know what, we're going to want to fix this, so let's just go brush, sphere, um, the stone. Um, let's go three. Right, now we're going to mask, sand, and dirt. But no, we're not. We're going to mask. Yeah, yeah, we are. Nope, we're going to mask stone. No, we're going to mask dirt. Now, what's going to do? It's going to create this, so it's more of a, it's more of a mountain. So now, you see, does that look alright? No, it doesn't. Disgusting. 
It's just, you get where I'm going with this. This isn't going to look perfect because I'm sort of doing this as I go along. But you get the general idea. And now maybe again here. But we're going to go to here. We're going to go brush smooth. Go three. And then I'm just going to smooth all this out because, like I say, it is not a complete alternative alternative to World Edit. And it's nowhere near as much fun as creating it with World Edit. And it's perhaps easier, you know, if you just want to make a simple one. But I would still, if I was when I'm doing it, I still use World Edit because I need to tidy up things like this. But now we're going to go brush, CYL, grass, that's five. We're going to mask sand. And then this is going to, it's going to follow one layer. Going around, just basically just tidying it up a bit. You know, and then we can grab our smooth tool, smooth it all out. See this um this is this is more for the well that it's more for the details. That's why this is better for doing the little things. It's just knitting all this up. I mean I, I'm trying to rush this because I hang up, but you're obviously gonna have more time. But you know I'm gonna leave that. You, you get the general idea of what I'll that you would delete them. You know, just go push. Fit a fine mask. Sand. That's just. But yeah, you, you get what I mean. You get the general idea. Because like this here, you have to smooth all this out. But then again, you know, here we've got the general idea. And it's the general style of how we're gonna set it out. Now, you know, you see again here. That we would obviously need to tidy this all up, just using the same method I did over here. And now, if we go over to here, you'll see we've got this. Um, this actually worked out quite well. I've still got this tool on. No, but go brush. Um, pierce stone for mask dirt. No, don't mask die. You know, and then we're just gonna do this because, like I say, and this using the plateau tool, this created um, like a nice area. Like you see what I mean, like a sort of valley. But then I will show you, because what could sometimes happen? You mean I know, like I say, I am rushing this. So when you do it, you can obviously get rid of all these glass bo grass bo blocks. But when we call it, set it to create caverns, it's done this. Now this can this is like, it can happen. This is why you got to be careful and keep a backup just in case. And when you do make a map, um, this actually looks quite nice. When you do make a map, you're gonna want to scan through it, look through it. If there are any mistakes, reload your save. And you know, just sort of like, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Um, now, because you're gonna want to put some trees in. Um, sorry if this has been a bit like rushing, but to grow trees, with single plant, you get single player commands. You're gonna go forward slash um, forest gen. And I'm gonna make trees. Um, I've actually got a keybind to do this, so I'm gonna go around putting trees down, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. Um, I saw I've populated the world with loads of trees. Um. And then this is pretty much done. This has been the um, the mere basics of how to create um, a survival island. I mean, if you were doing this for yourself, hang on, can I just do fly one? Hmm. One second. Curious. I've got no clip on that one. Fly one. Ooh. Fly two. Ooh. Um. Yeah. So this has been the. I just stopped recording for no random reason. This has been like the mere basics of how to create a survival map. I mean, if you were doing this, y you know, you would do it a lot more like, you pay attention to the detail. I mean, you'd clear all this grass off for a start, but just because I've got limited time, I'm not going to do that. But I hope this has helped. Um, um, yeah, I hope this has helped. I hope it was a. Uh, I hope you made, were, able to, were able to follow the tutorial. And if you have, you know, leave a comment if you need any help, because I will get back to you. And all the links you need will be in the description. I'll even put a link to this world in, you know, just for the sake of it, if you wanna, if you wanna have a look at it again. And yeah. So if it has helped, remember to leave a like. Uh, I've currently got another series going on, a um, let's build. So if you wanna see that, head down to my channel. Um, maybe subscribe. If you wanna see more of these, because I'll probably will be doing more like in-depth tutorials on how to do um, a lot nicer stuff. Um, other than that, I hope it's helped. I hope you enjoyed. And peace.